Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good eye, good eye, everybody. Yeah, long time no see. Hey, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I'm back in my home country, Ost Friesland, East Friesian. And uh, yeah, my bully is still in, in Lua. Lua. What is it called? Guambo, Guambo in Angola. It got a good place to stay. And it is for sale because I don't have the right papers to, to go to Zambia and Malawi and, and uh, Tanzania and all these countries I want to go. But the papers are not good for these, these countries. So I have to come back. I have to get registered here in Germany. I need a place to stay for a while. Spring is on his way. The summer is still coming. So I can visit some friends and uh, in, enjoy the Friesish life a bit. And yeah, I am at, uh, at my one of my best friends, Jan Zielmann. He is an artist all his life. And uh, he invited me to stay with him till I get organized with everything. And uh, yeah, he is very helpful. And I know him 45 years or 50 years, 50 years I know him. So uh, we have a lot of fun. We talk a lot of Friesisch, Platt Deutsch. And uh, tonight I want to make a poiki. A poiki is the name in South Africa. It's an iron pot, cast iron pot. It's a cast iron pot, goose eyes it. So that pot normally is round and got four legs. Uh, but I couldn't find it here. So when it's round, the flame, they can go around it. You know, it can get heated up everywhere. But uh, this one, this iron pot is uh, flat as a pancake. I don't know, you can't see it, but it's, it says El Fuego, so it's Spanish. And uh, yeah, I try my best to make, to make a meal. I have to make a fire outside. Uh, the cot has to zimmer, not cook, not boiling. The pot has to be zimmer and you put a bit coal on top, so the heat comes from the top as well. And uh, yeah, I got all the ingredients. I got meat, shoulder from wild pig, from a German wild pig. It was shot here. So that's a delicatess. And I got cabbage. I got uh, lemon. I have onions. I have a lot of garlic. And this is, uh, I not even know the name in English. It grows in the ground. So parsley, parsley, carrots, I got porridge, I got uh, nice brown mushrooms. Everything is bio. It's without uh, chemical fertilizer, zucchini, and uh, paprika babies. Yeah. So, and I got uh, two bottles of Guinness, Guinness beer. Yeah, that, that, that's all the ingredients and a bit of Thymian, a bit of uh, low beer. I don't know in English the name. Some spice, some, some uh, <coughs> like like parsley, but uh, oregano and and tumian and and all that stuff. So and I put uh, I I cut the shoulders from the wild pig. I I cut it in pieces. Let me show you. There we are. 
Can you see? Yes, I guess. So these are the shoulder pieces from the wild pig. These are the shoulders, the bones, you know, for the dog. And uh, yeah, I put a lot of, of course, I put salt on it. It needs salt and pepper. I just turn it around and I put it on tissues because uh, I don't want all the water on it. So that's how it is. Yeah, it's, it's very difficult here to live. People are like the weather, gray, gray. He is not real. Africa is real life, you know, the life is outside. It's nice and hot. And here it's wet and cold and gray. The sun does not shine. Uh, but they said the weather, the, uh, the weather f uh, frog, uh, the, the people in, on TV, they told me there will be some sun today and tomorrow and it will be about 20, 21 degrees Celsius. But it's quite beautiful then. So let me put some more salt on it. This is a South African dish. You know the, the Boere? They came from Belgium, from the Flemish part, from Holland some from Germany and some from Denmark and stuff like that. And when they f the first wagon tracks came to South Africa, uh, they needed a pot to cook in. So they brought the poiki. And that's still traditional, traditional burr meal, meal uh, done on an open fire and it will not cooking, it will zimmer four to five hours. Very, very slow. So that's about it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Please don't be angry with me. I keep you updated. It, it, I just have to get climatized a bit, and it's uh, really not not my country anymore. You know, I'm, I love Africa more than any other country in the world. I'm, I love Africa. It's a beautiful, and especially Angola. Angola is fantastic. There's life pulsating. The blood is running, and it's space, unbelievable much space. The life is on the street, the people are on the street. They even sleep there sometimes and cook there and drink there and talk and beautiful music everywhere and uh, people are friendly to each other. It doesn't matter they are poor or rich or whatever. It's a great, it's a great, great life there. And it's uh, three and a half times bigger than Germany. And uh, there are only uh, 53, no, 35 million people, that's nothing, you know. Yeah, that's how it is. So I want to pre prepare the onions, the cabbage, the onions, zucchini. I will cut everything to pieces. And uh, I go off the video now and I keep you updated when something is important again. Okay, bye. No, so there I am again. And my friend Jan, he went to the butcher and he bought me a big piece of bacon. So I will cut that in stripes and then
like this. And I uh, iron cast pot will have these stripes on the sides and on the bottom so nothing will burn it will give you enough fat to boil and You will see how that comes out. So the people want to eat at six o'clock. So latest one o'clock, the pot has to be on the fire. Okay. okay. Later. Ugh. So I got the, the, now what's called, bacon, and I place them nicely on the bottom, otherwise the meat will get too dry, so. And a few, few on the side, like this. So, there. So. I cut one lemon and the youth gets over the meat. So I got a fry pan and put some bio line oil oil on it and And then we fry, we fry, we fry the, the meat just for a few minutes. So the, it clo it's closing up the meat, you know, it's closing. So the, the, the juice stays inside of the meat. And, uh, yeah, I have a bit of problems to, to get it right. So you can see. That's the fried pan. The oil is heating up. It has to be real hot. And then we go from there. Mm -mm. Nine. Nine. Do Chris next. I don't know when we hide, but he hide.
Olha lá bola. Que coisa. Tá lá aqui mesmo. So I got, got the onion babies and the parsley, cut it to pieces, put it all in one pot, and now uh, I do the onions. Yeah, uh, some onions you can peel easy, and some not that easy. And the onions you can buy here in Germany. That is not a real onion. That's they grow too fast. They are not sharp. You your eyes got nothing the taste is not even half so good than the onions in in africa uh, all these onions they come from a plantation and have no chance to grow strong uh, to take a bit more here you see you see the bacon and then onions zucchini now I put some meat on, one layer, one layer of meat, nicely round everywhere. So dong dong. Yeah, that's that's an old clock. So then. And a handful of veggies on top. Two handful on top. Yeah. Then the layer meat. So that what was beautiful. Beautiful. Two hands of mushrooms and garlic and onions and whatsoever. Layer of meat again. And so the pot, it's getting full all the herbs are there the, the veggies again yes 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 Yer, yer, yer. So, and the last, last meat, wild pig, German, they like, they like that. So, and then we lap, lap the, the, lap that bacon. Over and yippee aye. I opened the Guinness. 
put the Guinness over it, and we are done. So let me open that. Then I have to go outside. Two bottles, I think two bottles is too much, but Jan said two bottles. Guinness. So I put the lid on top and then it can stuck, suck. So then 